Um, as you know, we're at our, our number of 100 boats in this boat parade. It's a phenomenal term, turnout. And I'd like to thank the committee, uh, both the logistics committee and everyone who was involved uh, with all the different Good marketing time. elements. And thank you to Discover Newport. Uh, thank you to uh, the Harbor Master's Office, Steve Land. Um, thank you to the Coast Guard, DEM, uh, the city manager, uh, the city council, um, the Sail Newport staff, and of course, you all, the participants in this uh, parade. Um, the concept of this parade from uh, the outset was to do something that we know how to do, which is go boating and celebrate those people that we've lost and not been you know, not been able to celebrate over the last uh, almost two years due to the pandemic. Um, so I'd like to thank once again, everybody involved uh, with buying into this idea of trying to, um, trying to do something special for those, those folks that we want to remember, that we want to celebrate and, and you know, mourn together on the water. Um, so in the spirit of that, um, I do also want to recognize Nick Ewenson, who uh, kind of came up with this idea and has uh, ceremoniously told me that I stole his idea from him. He's our, uh, he's our uh, racing program director at Sound Newport. And of course, he's celebrating um, the life of his late brother's death. So uh, I want to acknowledge Nick, wherever you are in, in, the, in, the, uh, in, in the, the grid here. Um, I'd like to just start with some basics. I'm gonna share my screen uh, and just kind of go through some, some points of emphasis uh, that I've put into most of your um, email boxes. Um, uh, number one, uh, obviously the, the rendezvous is approximately 5 p.m. between 5 and 5.15 off of the Green Bell, off of Rose Island. I'll share a map in a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Please spread out. Uh, please just make sure you have tons of room between all the boats. Uh, there will be, you know, a, a, a hundred boats out there getting ready to get uh, to get in line for the um, for your uh, to get in line for the parade. The lower number vessels, and I'll I'll pull up the chart in a minute, should be more to the east towards Goat Island, and the higher number towards the west. Let's just say one through 30 should be kind of towards the east, towards the Goat Island side of, of that area between Rose and Goat. Um, and the, let's call it 40 to 100 should be pretty far over towards the west, towards the Green Bell, towards Rose Island, obviously being um, careful not to uh, get into that area by the Green Can, which can be a little bit shallow. Uh, number of placards, I asked everyone to try to uh, make number of placards. Um, obviously, uh, it's going to be helpful uh, for people to see uh, the numbers and you can maybe identify who's going to be on either side of you. Uh, please make them big enough for Martha and Bruce from W80K uh, to be able to see it. Now, I'm going to get into a couple things later about, um, about uh, as we go by uh, the Newport Yacht Club, but um, just have those number, car number cards up near the bow if possible on the port side. W80K, um, really happy that Bruce uh, Newberry and Martha Parker will be uh, live streaming the event on audio uh, through w80k.com or over the air at 1540. Um, they will start their broadcast at five and then all the way through the end of the parade. Right, so please uh, try to get on uh, w80k.com on your phones or on whatever device, or obviously you can listen on 1540. Uh, AM. Um, parade speed. Just want to hit, hit on this one more time. Our Harbor Master Steve Land will lead the parade and will be at a consistent three and a half knots. As he comes by Goat Island, and I'll show you the map in a little bit, he's going to be going 3.5 knots. Immediately behind him will be Columbia, and then we'll make sure that we get a bunch of boats coming up the Goat Island shore and people can start getting into their into their um their area of of uh of kind of coming in on on the their starboard sides and and coming in and, and getting in line keep your gap consistent two to three of your boat lengths you know if you're a, in a 25 foot 
rib and there's a 12 meter on one side of you and a 12 meter on the other, they're gonna have two to three boat lengths on their side, right? But just make sure you're, you're, you're adequately giving enough space to, to, to both sides. So just, just make sure you're keen, keen on that. It needs constant attention if it's gonna go smoothly. Um, because if it turns into one of those big bungee cord situations where people are getting way out ahead and way behind, it's really hard to get it back into um, uh, together. Um, no parade rage, please. This is an important one. Um, if you don't get into your assigned spot and you're in, you're in 44th as opposed to 47th or you're in 47th as opposed to 44th, don't worry about it. Just stay in that spot. Everybody can settle down. It's not, we're not gonna be grading on your, uh, on, on getting into your exact number. We're just trying to get you into a range uh, of where you should be. And just make sure everybody around you, either side of you gets a friendly hand, hand wave. Um, hey, we're good, we're good. How you guys doing? Great. Uh, and remember you're part of that neighborhood for the entire, um, and the entire event. Okay, cool. That's all. A reminder to mute if you just got on, that'd be great. Uh, I'm muting you um, as I see you uh, starting to talk, so bear with me. Um, additional information. Many of you have done a really nice job of uh, getting information to Kim Cooper um, on, your, uh, on those who you are uh, uh, celebrating. If there's a change, please email Kim. We'll add them to your boat listing so Martha and Bruce can read it off on W80K. Changes will only be accepted through end of day today, June 4th. So please don't be calling Kim or emailing Kim uh, Friday at afternoon at three. Um, we just won't be able to, we won't be able to unfortunately get those changes to Martha. Um, all right, I'm going to stop that share and I'm gonna share the actual parade map for a second. Stand by. All right, hopefully everybody can see this. This is our parade map. Uh, the vessel rendezvous location, again, is Mitchell's Rock, uh, which is the green gong between Rose Island and Goat Island. Now here's the concept. Um, let's see, uh, I'm gonna ask someone, um, let's see, uh, Anna, can you see my, can, some, can you guys all see my mouse? Yeah, I can see you, Brad. All right, so good. So the concept is that at five o'clock, everyone's you know, just kind of motoring around, giving each other a lot of space. And at 520, there will be the blessing of the fleet. Jackie Kirby from St. George's School will be on Amazing Grace. She'll be on channel 71 and she will, have, she will own it. I will introduce her. She will start her blessing of the fleet. And at that same time, you will see Steve Land, who is the Harbor master in the 23 foot um, Captain, um, Captain Musil, he will have his lights on and he'll do some sound signals every once in a while. And he will be traveling up north towards the northern tip of Goat Island. You will see him along the shore of Goat Island. This is your cue for the top 20 to really start working at getting into the area that's going to be um, able to be, uh, you know, intersected as Steve comes by. As Steve makes his turn up north of Gold Island, uh, Goat Island, he'll start coming back down the same path. He will be coming down, you know, in, in 30 feet of water. Don't worry, Columbia, he won't get too close. Um, so he'll be coming down towards, oops, sorry, towards the south and people should be coming in behind him at that time. It is very important, very important that this, that you really identify Steve, make sure you look for his blue lights. He will have a sound signal going every once in a while. There'll be very visible boats behind him, starting with Columbia. And then uh, soon after that will be a Coast Guard vessel, uh, Amazing Grace is in that front row uh, and a few other boats that are very distinguishable. Start your process of getting in, going to two to, you know, a knot and a half to two and a half knots. You know, keep your steerage, get in line, and, and make sure you start getting in line. All right. 
So as, as Steve goes by, he'll be uh, coming towards the harbor mouth entrance, coming around Goat Island, around both the Green Can and the Green Bell, and starting his trek north um, on the eastern side of Goat Island up towards the Newport shipyard. Now you'll see that the dotted line actually goes pretty far into towards the shipyard. That's on purpose. We do, we want, you know, we want to get a little closer to the shipyard so those folks that may be on land over the shipyard can see. And then we'll cut across by, by um, uh, Pier 9 through to the Newport Yacht Club area, uh, Parati Park. This is where Bruce and Martha will be uh, simulcasting and they will have WADK live at the Newport Yacht Club. Thank you very much to Betsy, Commodore Betsy uh, Green, who uh, got that organized for us. We're really thrilled with that. As we come by uh, the Newport Harbor Master Office, Bowens, Bannisters, Old Port, et cetera, et cetera, will just be a straight shot. As you're going through here, there may be from time to time, uh, you know, an Old Port launch that you'll see you know, that, that may be trying to get across, they're gonna be really good about it. They're gonna wait for a gap, they're gonna come across. If you see somebody, just wave them through. Now, we're talking to the bigger boats like the Madeline and the, uh, the Aquidneck and Sight Sailor and so forth to make sure that they know not to try to exit during this time. That would be a user conflict that would probably not be very good. So we're, we're talking to those folks to try to make sure that we limit the amount of traffic coming out of the, the big wharves along, uh, along the, the uh, America's Cup. So as we come down uh, through uh, the harbor, you'll see uh, we're gonna take uh, a turn around the last tall, tall ship mooring, and we're gonna be going by Kings Park, by Ida Lewis Yacht Club. This is really not to scale uh, this, this drawing. Uh, and then if you feel confident in your ability to execute the maneuvering through a few of the mooring fields, you know, the mooring field towards Newport, New York Yacht Club, please do. Uh, the harbor master will be going through there. He'll be creating a really nice lane. But remember, there are moorings in there. There are other boats. If you don't feel confident, this is your exit ramp. Just do a little exit ramp and go and head off, um, you know, towards Fort Adams. And that's the way you'll be ending your parade. So. If you don't feel confident going by close aboard Ida and going uh, through towards New York Yacht Club, uh, fine, we get it, no worries. Just take the exit ramp and uh, just go off, put your blinker on and, and go straight instead of taking that left turn around Ida. So as you go around Ida and you're approaching New York Yacht Club, remember most of the Yacht Clubs will be giving salutes. So if you have a cannon or a horn, you might get a cannon or a horn back. And we're really delighted with all the Yacht Club's efforts to get the word out uh, for this great Harbor Parade. So as you come through and you take that turn from New York Yacht Club, this is probably an exaggeratedly tight turn, uh, we'll be then heading out and the parade is ending outside the Harbor. There is a definite chance that the last boats may be still entering the Harbor as the first boats are coming out of the harbor. Be patient. Please be patient as you go back to your moorings or your dock spaces. If you're going to Jamestown, that's easy. Just head on over. But if you're not, then you know if you're coming back into the harbor, please be patient, enjoy yourself, relax, and wait for the parade to get out of the way before you try to go to your mooring. Um, Let's see. All right, I muted a lot of people, so you may not be able to unmute yourself. Um, so you can ask to unmute yourself, but does anyone have any questions on the route or any of the information that I've given so far? No. Uh, Brad, uh, Jay Coogan from Iris. Um, <clears throat> you know, when you see a funeral procession on the roadways or highways, they often have some kind of a flag on their car and mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're led just like the Harbor Master by you know, a hearse <laughs> or you know, a black car. Mm -hmm. we, we are a little less distinguishable. Um, so 
I, I, I presume we just are going to have to make do with people who are cutting across our pathways as we do this parade. Um, so here's what we've done, and, and that's a great question, Jay. Thank you. We've worked with um, the Harbor Master, Steve, who's on the line here. Uh, Steve's going to have a, a bunch of Harbor Master assets that are one over at, Goat Island, uh, at the Goat Island Causeway, one over at, near Iris, actually, and one at the mouth of the harbor. Those Harbor Master vessels will all have their lights going, and they're going to be actively helping approaching uh, boaters who may not have read the Notice of Man Mariners that's going on the Coast Guard uh, website that haven't been listening to Channel 16 all day. You're supposed to, by the way, but who, who does? And uh, they will be actively telling those folks to please understand this is a parade. It'll be gone in an hour. Please stand by. Don't try to get to the wars. So um, Steve, if you do you want to add anything to that? Sure, I think, am I unmuted, muted? No, nope, you're good. I'm good, okay. Um, yes, uh, exactly what, what Brad said. Um, just to let the general public know, we are gonna have a boat uh, inside the, um, the, the green bell at the end of Goat Island with our lights going, the bridge, and then again, kind of by Iris there. Um, I can't promise that we're gonna be able to stop every single boat, but we're gonna do our best. Um, and so just so other, other parade people know where my assets are going to be, if you guys do run into a, a problem, those are the three points. We are going to be, they're going to be dynamic and they will be moving. Um, so, but we'll keep an eye on. And obviously as the parade um, concludes, we'll probably follow up and just make sure that uh, we get any stragglers that are at the, at the end and make sure everyone has a, a good uh, opportunity to, to do the entire route. Um, but uh, no, I think just, you you know, unfortunately, we just got to err on the side of safety. That's all I have to say, really. Right. Thank you. All right. Question. Any other points of emphasis that um, I may have missed, uh, Emily or Kim? Question of the placards about how big do you want the numbers, letters, how many inches okay. or how you know, many? If you have a couple pieces of, you know, a couple pieces of ledger size paper that you can, you know, or that that size or or pieces of, uh, you know, plastic or cardboard. I, I'm thinking maybe 18 to 24 inches wide by, you know, three quarters of that. So call it, you know, a foot to 18 inches tall, somewhere in that range. And again, it's not a, we won't be grading you on your uh, penmanship, except for maybe Clay Deutsch, who I know has terrible penmanship. Um, but uh, just, if we can, if we can know if we can just know who you are, that's great, and it will help. It will help a bit um, with Martha and Bruce Newberry uh, to be able to um, to uh, know who you are. Yep, George, did you want to uh, add something? No, I have no questions. Okay, great. So again, just to go through the timing, uh, five p.m. Rendezvous starts out between Rose and Goat near the Mitchell's Rock Bell. Um, again, take your time, take it easy, <laughs> make sure that you have uh, some of your team always on lookout, looking for different, um, you know, potential, uh, you know, just user conflict out there. I keep using that word. Just take it, take it down a notch. Everybody, relax. Wait for um, at 520 if everyone can make sure they're off the radio. I will introduce uh, Jackie Kirby from St. George's School, who will be on the Amazing Grace. Jackie will give the blessing of the fleet. Uh, after the blessing of the fleet, um, I will probably be back on 71 uh, talking folks. Okay, here comes here comes Steve, here comes the harbor master. I'll be the kind of the cajoler of getting one through ten arranged, then ten through twenty arranged. And so on and so on and so on, uh, but it should it should. What, what are you laughing at back there? I got my staff laughing at me back here, as they should. So, um, but uh, so you're gonna get sick of hearing my voice. I'll be hoarse by then anyway, probably. Hello. Yeah, Susan. Hi, I have a question. Yep. Is there is there any plans for cancellation if it's socked in fog? Mm -hmm. Yes, if it's socked in fog and there is a cancellation, we're going to try to do it early. Uh, we'll try to do it, you know, well before 
the three o'clock time frame. So people who are coming from other parts of Narragansett Bay are, um, are it'll happen through email, the th same email that you've been, we've been using uh, for these notifications. Uh, there is a rain date of the next day at five. We understand it's a work day, uh, but we want this thing to happen uh, regardless uh, of, of, of the day. Um, there is no intention for us to move it to the following weekend. There's just too much going on with you know, different events, annual regatta and so forth that following weekend. So we're really hoping for a great day. Um, and uh, chances are it's going to be warm, which does indicate sometimes fog, um, but we, were, we will actively be looking at the weather and give you a good thumbs up, thumbs down um, as we approach the, uh, you know, the, the early afternoon on Sunday. Thank you. Yep. I have two. Hey, Brad. Yes, is that Bill Kenyon? Uh, no, it's, it's me here. Fox. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, it's going to be pretty bright, but uh, maybe suggesting uh, uh, those that have running lights, we might be able to put those on to identify the participants. Great idea, Bill. I love it. So to stop to the uh, the funeral parade. There you go. And then then Steve and the Coast Guard will be sitting there with pads of paper on whose running lights don't work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Kim, did you have something? I do. I have four very quick things. Number one is I wanted to thank um, Mike Musil and Matt Genio for the amazing grace and offering to take people out who don't have a way to get out. Is that full or should we keep plugging that? No, uh, hi Kim. Now we, we have a room, we probably have room for uh, an additional 20, uh, 20 okay. people. Probably. Yeah, so okay. send them over. Okay, excellent. Um, the second thing is I wanna ask everybody to do social media ahead of time, you know, starting today. We need to help motivate spectators. So looking forward to the parade, a picture of your boat. Um, you can share what's on Seal Newport's channel. That would be great. The third one is whoever takes photographs and can send them to me or send me a link to a Dropbox after, that would be fantastic. Um, and my last point four is I just want to officially welcome Stephen as our new Harbor Master. This is a great way to start and we want to welcome you. Amen. Oh, a little golf clap from the hills. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Steve. Oh, well, thank you. I, uh, I look forward to this event. I, um, this is really uh, kind of what's be like this and a community event like this is why I came to Newport. It's, uh, it really shows um, everyone's character and uh, I, I, I'm honored to be part of it. Thanks, Steve. A couple other things on, on, the, um, on the parade, you know, on documenting this parade. When you do take pictures and you do choose to you know, tell the world about, you know, your, your experience on Instagram or, um, or Facebook or whatever. Uh, Kim, do you want a specific hashtag if, you know, if, so people can see everyone else's pictures? We have been using just boat, uh, hashtag boat parade, but it go. can either, yeah, be, but there's one in Newport, California too. So boat parade RI would be great. Well, how about boat parade Newport? There you go. Hashtag Boat Parade Newport. And my yes. dad, I think, is on the line and he says, what's a hashtag? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a reminder, there is a really good document on the Sail Newport site about uh, flag etiquette underway. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we put Bill Doyle on it and he got, I think you got uh, Captain Brown to help you with that document and, and he took it to the next level. So if you really want to know the minutia of, uh, uh, of flag etiquette going while you're underway, please read that document. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Bill, do you have anything else to add there? No, nope. great, good. So have your signs, celebrate those people that we've lost. There's so many wonderful names that I've read in all these registrations. It's phenomenal. We have a, a, a celebration of life that's going to be uh, happening tomorrow for Dr. Wallace at St. George's as well. That'll be live streamed. Uh, on a bunch of different sites. Um, 
including in, in our uh, in our great room down downstairs here at Sail Newport. You can watch it from your home. You can watch it, you know, a variety of different places. So that's kind of neat. And then there's also a celebration of life for Dan Harper on um, on Sunday that's going to be happening here. They're running a little regatta, a little regatta at Sail Newport. So um, I think people are really starting to be able to do these in-person celebrations of life, but I don't think anything's going to be like this one. This one's phenomenal. So uh, I will uh, I will let this go. We're going to keep it to a half an hour unless anyone else has any questions, comments, concerns. Um, we're really, we're ready. Hey, Brad. So on a hair, uh, everything's on Channel 71, right? Yes, Channel 71 and WADK. Okay, great. Thank you. And thanks for putting this on. This is going to be awesome. Great. Hey, Brad, Paul Morse from Tree here. Do you know if OHP is going to be able to make it? OHP um, did register and uh, within a nanosecond, I said, hey, wouldn't it be an, a better idea to have you on a tall ship morning? So um, they're going to be one of our rounding points. Okay. So they'll be on one of the tall ship moorings and, and they'll be very much a part of the parade uh, as, a, um, as a feature to round as opposed to uh, being underway. So sounds good. Thanks. Twelve thirty. So I'm gonna, great. We're done. All right. Is anybody else have any questions or comments? Great. Well, once again, take it easy out there. Keep it slow. You know, Phil and Carol Garland keep that presto under eighteen or twenty knots during this parade. Um, but just everybody, take a big deep breath and remember why we're in line. And uh, it doesn't matter if you're ninety nine or or seven. Uh, it's it's going to be a great day. Tune into WADK on your mobile phones. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good.